year is almost over. Summer just around the corner, and it means many people will be flocking to Texas beaches, including Galveston Island, but they're not going to just find sunshine and sand and waves there. Many of our beaches have been blanketed with this unique smelly seaweed known as sargassum. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas is in Galveston with why we are seeing so much of it right now and if it's harmful to people on the beach. It's smelly and not necessarily attractive to beachgoers or tourists, but it's not harmful. In fact, experts say it's quite beneficial to our beaches and marine life. Sargasm is native to the Atlantic Ocean and has always grown in the Sargasso Sea. In recent years, the seaweed buildup has blanketed beaches in Florida and Texas. Galveston Island, obviously, no exception. I met up with Anna Armitage, a professor of marine biology at Texas A&M Galveston, who says we could see a lot more of it this year. 2014 was sort of a record year for sargasm. Are we anywhere near that uh, this year, 2025? It's a little too early to tell, but there are certainly signs that there's going to be a lot of sargassum this year. It's important to remember, though, that it doesn't persist for long periods of time. It'll come in waves and eventually it'll decompose. Uh, this, this is not harmful to, to folks, but it is it is good uh, for, for the beaches, right? It has some nutrients for, for marine life as well. Right. When it's out in the water, it actually provides food and shelter for all kinds of animals, including lots of juvenile fish. Um, here on the beaches, yes, it can, it can, um, as it decomposes, it adds nutrients and fertilizes the soil and helps stabilize the dunes. Sargasm season can start in April and last until June or July, so beachgoers will just have to get used to it until then. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you more about the cleanup process associated with sargasm and how the Galveston Park Board disposes of it. In Galveston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.